Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and today I'm going to show you how to take your photos from here to here with absolute zero photo editing experience. So we're going to begin by reverting this photo back to its original state and we're going to use Luminar Neo to process it. So rather than getting into more advanced things like uh, split toning, tone curves, exposure, and so on. Luminar Neo can spare you all of that, and we just begin with Enhance AI. So in this case, I'm going to grab the Accent AI slider, and I'm going to pull it to the right until I get something that I like the look of. Now, in my opinion, 100 is definitely over the top, so I'm going to go for a more subtle look and drop it in about maybe there. Your taste may vary. Sky Enhancer, I'm sure you can guess what that does. And as I scroll it, if you look at the sky, you can see that the sky is getting darker relative to the foreground, and it's getting a bit more saturated and a bit more contrast. Now, even if you don't know what any of that means, it's simply a case of just sliding it until you see something you like. And I think I'm going to leave it about there. Structure AI is about sort of micro contrast, I guess, uh, and sharpness. If we jam it right up, you can kind of see what that looks like. And, and that's pretty uh, otherworldly. So a little bit of subtlety is good here. And we'll give that a bit of a boost. Next, I'm going to go to details. And if I click on the photograph, I get a 100% zoom in. This is actually quite a sharp photo as it is, but can do a little bit better. And all I'm going to do is move the small detail slider a little bit. And you can see things are sharpening up a bit nicely. If I preview it before, you can kind of see what that looks like. That's the pre-sharpened image to sharpened image. Again, we're not trying to make it look obvious. We want to be as discreet as we can whilst being effective. Now, the last thing I like to do is add a bit of a vignette. So here, this simulates basically a cheap lens where brightness isn't even across the frame. Now, the trick to a good vignette is to do it just enough that you you can sort of register it and feel it, but not enough that you can consciously see it. So if we're doing that, that's that's really bad. Uh, and something like that's not much better. We just want just enough. And when applied well, it adds a sort of 3D punch, the sort of contrast between the darker corners and darker edges to the brighter foreground. It just gives a sense of depth and a bit more punch than you otherwise might have had. In the advanced settings, you can add a few extra things. So I'm going to boost up the inner light. So that gives us a bit more brightness in the middle. And I think that is about it. So that's probably about five steps, I'm guessing, uh, to editing your photo. It will work with almost any landscape photo that you try to process. And just so we can remember, our original image looked like this. And now it looks like that. Now, I'm first to admit this is probably a little bit over-processed, but with you guys uh, watching this over YouTube, I felt like I needed to overdo it a little bit just so you can see it and put on a bit of show, of course. Now, Luminar Neo is out to buy. If you want to buy it, if you go buy my website, there's a coupon code. You can get it cheaper than you can get it anywhere else. So give that a shot. I've also got a review and heaps more information on things like sky replacement, portrait, background blur, it really does an awful lot and it's an excellent product. Anyway, I hope that's useful. If you want more content like this, please subscribe. Let me know what else you want. I'll try and get round to it by dropping a comment in the below. But otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.